born in New York, and I came down to Washington, D.C. about almost 10 years ago now. So I have painted um, probably about 10 murals, and the ones that really affected me were uh, the one at Royal Sea Trails Conservancy, as well as the painting I did for Hot Yoga Delaware. I was working in the environmental nonprofit sector, and I kind of pushed painting aside um, for a little while because I thought I had to, to grow up. I realized I was missing something for my life, and um, so I came to start painting murals for, for a living. I found out about the Electric Maid through answering an ad on Craigslist. The Electric Maid is basically here, uh, their tagline is community living room, and they're a nonprofit. They'll have Wi-Fi and coffee and sandwiches and uh, music, and the, they're thinking of having movie showings and um, just fun things that people can gather together. I came up to look at the space and meet the people who were working here and trying to revitalize it, and it sounded like just a, an amazing project, and um, I wanted to be a part of it, so I signed up for it, and now I'm here painting. I'll spend a lot of time talking to the person who I'm painting the mural for, or group. Um, it could be an organization. And um, figure out what kind of feel they want and also what's important to them as far as what they're trying to express. From that point, it's a lot of sketching and going over sketches with a, with a client. Physically painting this canvas, um, I've been at it about eight hours altogether over the past uh, several days, I guess. And um, I think it's just going to take a couple more hours to finish up. And after the sketch, I do a little mock-up painting, and then then actually painting on the wall. And that's the whole process. Painting murals is really an important aspect of community. It allows for a space to be beautified, and also expressing something that the community would hopefully find um, find interesting and hopefully thought-provoking. Mm -hmm.